hey guys welcome back to the channel so today i am upgrading the intercooler of my bmw 328i x drive all right before we continue with our build i want to share with you all some little bit of a basics why am i doing this more? why you would also want to consider upgrading your intercooler now for the turbocharged engine the air that comes out of the, the turbo is a hot air it's a hot air now what the intercooler does is the the air will pass through the the hot air will pass through the intercooler and the intercooler as you can hear the cool there is a cool word there now the air goes through the intercooler the intercooler will cool that air and the air that comes out of the intercooler will be a cold air and you know when there is a cold air it will be more dense when the air is more dense that means there is more oxygen when we have more oxygen that means better combustion and that's why we would want a aftermarket intercooler because aftermarket intercooler are built for performance i mean if you know someone who doesn't care about performance well you can keep what you have the stock intercooler you have but for people like us we want to have more performance we want to have more horsepower on our car and does to have to have efficient boost on the engine we want to have this type of intercooler fun fact i know you didn't even know about this and it's explosive i did the research and i'm sharing this with you it turns out when you look at on the internet you have a shiny intercooler and you have a black finish intercooler turns out the black finish intercooler is more efficient than the shiny ones oh yes so if you want to know more there is a link in the description just click there and watch of course after this build when i'm when you finish watching this they've done the experimentation that the black finish intercooler actually are more efficient than the shiny one so next time when you go shop for an intercooler you know do that get the black finish one you will need a a torque wrench you will need the jack stand hydraulic jack as well uh you need the impact wrench uh and and of course uh some tools so i want to show you step by step exactly how you can get this done so let's get started I'll put the link in the description where I got this, and if you are also interested, it's very, it's a, it's a budget intercooler. I didn't want to go to spend too much money for this. Uh, it's something that uh, you can get within your budget. Let's check out the car and get started. If you own a BMW, I will recommend you to buy this jack pad. It's a life changer. I will leave the link in the description so you can get yourself this one as well. Using our impact wrench, we're going to need the 8 millimeter socket. We're going to remove all of we're going to remove all of these these screws. We, now that we remove the belly pan, we this is the intercooler. This is where it is. This is the thing we're going to remove. So we'll need to unscrew this. Uh, let me auto focus. Okay, there is a screw we're going to remove here. There's a screw there. We're going to remove that screw. I'm seeing there's a fan here, but we're going to figure out if we have to remove the bumper. Now, there are many ways we could do this, like removing the bumper, but I um, don't want to remove the bumper. However, if we see we get stuck, we're going to remove the bumper. To remove this, you will need a T25 you need this T25. All 
All right, next we're going to remove the seat clamp. All right, the seat clamp is out. And going to remove this, remove this, and we do the same thing here. I was trying to pull this down, but it looks like uh, uh, I'm stuck, so I am figuring this out, how to pick that up. It looks like uh, I might need to remove this. I might remember to move this, remove this panel, which is the same here as well. Take that out. And uh, I don't know what this piece is. See, don't know what this piece is, so I'm figuring this out and see um, how to take that out. So we're just going to pull down the intercooler this is the OEM one you can see it's a uh, pretty small it's the OEM one it's pretty small and it's this this side is plastic this is plastic all of this is plastic and um, and you can see how small it is. It's very small. Now, when we get the aftermarket one, which is this one, this is our aftermarket intercooler. You can see the difference first. This one is heavy, <laughs> and uh, this is very light. It's light. And you can see the difference as well on where the air comes in. So, the more the more volume we have of this intercooler, the more air that will, the more air that will get in, and that that means also more oxygen, and that will power, that will increase the power of the motor.